GMA has become the trusted global leader in industrial garnet. With a 35-year track record of supplying high-performing abrasives, drawing on this experience, we will show you how optimizing blast performance can be as easy as ABC. In our previous video, we explained why it is important to select the right abrasive for your project's specific requirements. In this second video, Part B, GMA demonstrates how blasting equipment can affect the overall efficiency of your blast operation. Part B, Blasting Equipment. Having optimal pressure is instrumental to success. The number of blasters, type and size of nozzle, and blast equipment affect the overall efficiency level of the blast operation. When attaching additional equipment, the compressor should be sized appropriately to maintain sufficient air pressure at every nozzle. To attain 100% efficiency, your nozzle pressure should be set at a minimum of 100 PSI, no matter which nozzle size you use. Blasting efficiency drops 1.5% for every one PSI below 100 at the nozzle. Efficiency increases as nozzle pressure level increases. If you're not achieving a minimum 100 PSI at the nozzle, it's important to check your entire blasting system and locate the pressure loss. Check the pressure out of the compressor into the dryer, out of the dryer into the pot, and out of the pot with the needle gauge to ensure an optimal blasting operation. Pressure loss occurs for a variety of reasons, from an undersized compressor, having an unnecessarily lengthy hose, improper sized hoses, and worn nozzles. Pressure loss can also be caused by hoses rising vertically when blasting at heights, hose entanglement, leaks, poor hose condition, and connections, less sharp bends, a kinked hose, and a shorter air supply hose keeps pressure drop to a minimum. The minimum diameter for your air supply hose should be four times the blast nozzle orifice. For the blast hose, the minimum diameter should be three times the blast nozzle orifice, and the maximum diameter is five times the blast nozzle orifice. Nozzle sizing should be dependent on the project specification and air availability. Its size and condition will affect blast efficiency. A small increase in nozzle size will result in a large increase in air and abrasive consumption. Check for nozzle wear with a nozzle sizing gauge prior to each shift. Replace the nozzle when it is worn to 1 16th of an inch from its original size, which is the equivalent of one nozzle size. Cool, dry, compressed air blasts up to 15% faster. Increased moisture can increase garnet consumption. Dry air ensures proper flow of abrasive through the blast pot and metering valve, and having proper valve control will ensure optimal garnet consumption. The blaster first needs to completely close the metering valve. Open the valve with a few turns. Test production rate by blasting. You'll hear a chugging sound and notice excessive dust if you're overfeeding the garnet. If you are underfeeding the garnet, you will not be able to clean the surface effectively. Having the right abrasive metering can help reduce garnet consumption rate. The older flat sand valves, donut valves, and ball valves do not provide precise adjustments to control the abrasive flow. The use of a micro valve or Thompson valve will facilitate more accurate abrasive metering, resulting in reduced consumption, improved productivity, and higher efficiency. Have a separate person adjusting the metering valve in line with the blaster's instructions. While blasting the surface, move the nozzle to determine whether your cleaning rate is acceptable. When using GMA Garnet, the abrasive exiting the nozzle should be almost invisible if the blast equipment is correctly set up. In this video, we explained how blasting equipment can affect the overall efficiency of your blast operation. 
having optimal pressure, correctly sized shorter hoses, good nozzle condition, proper valve control, and having a partner to adjust the abrasive metering will improve your blast efficiency. In the next video, Part C demonstrates how having the correct technique can help achieve an optimal blast performance. Optimizing blast performance can be as easy as ABC. Selecting the right garnet abrasive, blast equipment, and ensuring the correct blast technique will help you perform an efficient and effective blast operation. GMA, more than just garnet.